Hi, Allison. This is my response to your post, and what a great post it was. As I was watching your post, I was like, man, she sounds like a professor. Um, you really, really captured the reading this week and, and actually broke it down in a way that I hadn't even looked at it from, um, from my readings. Um, I, too, believe that there will be an eventual democratization in the Middle East, and it's just a matter of time. Unfortunately, I don't believe that I'll live long enough to see the change. I wish that I could, especially since I have so many friends and family members who have been over to the Middle East and, and fought in this, um, this campaign for freedom. It would, be, it would be really nice to think that all of us in our age generation or our age group would, would get to see the democratization and the fruits of, of the labors that have been put forth. Um, but I, I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, I do believe that in order to accomplish democracy, though, that there must be a separa separation of church and state. Um, I think you were right in stating that. And, and I think you're also right in stating that uh, Muslims are trying to recapture what's always been part of Islam. You know, the rights of the individuals, the peacefulness of the peoples, and the, the somewhat of, of a separation of church and state. I mean, there, there are instances in historical Islam where you know, the leader has been um, not only a religious leader, but also a, um, like a governmental leader. And um, I think that, that in the future there will be more of a separation um, and, and that separation, I think, will, will eventually lead to a post-Islamic Middle East. Um, I think that, that the separation will just get greater and greater and greater, and the, and the gap will get further and further and further, or wider and wider and wider between uh, religion and, and democracy, especially if, if the Middle East does democratize. Um, I don't think that, um, that Islam is... I mean, I think it's a strong religion. It's a strong faith, obviously. People are, you know, Muslims are very, very dedicated. But um, so were Christians. And during the Crusades, I'm sure that, you know, the, the Christian thinkers and authors of those times did not sit back and think, oh my gosh, you know, we're going to be in a, in a post-Christian um, world in, in a thousand years, or we're going to be in a, in a post-Christian environment. Um, and, and I don't think that the, the Islamists are looking at that either, but I think that it's, um, that it's inevitable, unfortunately, um, that the religion on their part will not, will not play a part in their governance, just like it doesn't for us as much as it used to. Thanks.